Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So it is Monday, June 4th and it is about 9.15. I just got out of bed a little bit ago and I decided it was time to start this week's vlog because it is the start of the June or slash summer relaxathon and yeah, I really wanted to vlog this week. So here we are. I am uploading my TBR video for the relaxathon. Um, I'm actually gonna push you guys back a little bit so that you're not like right up in my face. There we go. That's a little bit better. I'm still trying to wake up. I am about to start a reading sprints in the Facebook group. Um, and I think my first book is gonna be Dead Men Walking by Sherilyn Kenyon. I still have no idea what this is about, um, except that it's about pirates. No idea. Um, and it's due back at the library in six days. So I decided I wanted to go ahead and get it out of the way so I didn't have to like stress about like meeting my library deadline or anything like that. Um, I finished the Remnant Chronicles last night. Um, I had actually gotten the second one and finished it in a day and then, um, Last night I was like, dang it, I want to read the third one. Um, I don't know, like these books, the Remnant Chronicles books anyway, they were okay. Like the whole time I'm reading them, I'm like, eh, this is good, this is all right. And then like the ending, I'm like, dang, I gotta read the second one. And it's not even that their endings are like that, like they're not like cliffhangers, kind of. I guess the second one was kind of a cliffhanger. Um, but anyway, I was like, I want to read the third one. So I stayed up last night reading the third one, trying to finish it before the readathon started because I didn't want to have like a, a book that I hadn't finished yet before the readathon. Um, so yeah, that's my life. And let's see. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and finish waking up a little bit and I will update you guys later. <laughs> so it is in now about 1040. I can feel a migraine coming, which is just awesome. Um, I ran reading sprints in the book club group for a while, but I like in the last one, I barely even understood what I read. So I decided I needed a break. Um, and I just took some pictures of the new releases for the 8th, yeah, the 8th on Friday. Um, so we have a lot of stuff coming out and I'm so excited. I'm kind of switching how I do new releases. In the past, I've just kind of like made some kits. I liked them, I put them up. Um, now I'm using a lot more like custom clip art and I absolutely love it because obviously it's for my shop um, and with that I can do more of like themed weeks so I'm kind of gearing more toward like a collection relating to this theme so the themes for the 8th are gonna be farmers market and self-care and I absolutely love the kits so this is farmers market and then for self-care, we have these boxes, which are gorgeous. This clip art isn't actually custom to my shop, but I contacted the shop owner and had them draw some custom stuff for my shop. So it's like partially um, exclusive. And then we have icons. And we are also going to do sloth mode action activated so this actually matches the tumblr that is coming out and as soon as i designed this for the tumblr i was like that needs to be a sticker so made it a sticker and then we're also gonna have some like self-care type quotes coming out as well and i'm really really excited um so those are mine and the icons are mine. I had like a stack as I was like taking pictures of like what was supposed to be mine and what was supposed to be going back in the stack. So yeah, I really, 
I'm trying to decide if I can like fit the farmer's market kit into my planner this year because I think it is so cute and I love the colors. They're not typical colors that I use together but they turned out really really pretty and it just like screams summer to me so I'm really excited about that. Um, I also went ahead and designed some kits that are coming out later in the month so let me show you guys we have a reading kit coming out that is kind of like the signature kit and I am so excited about it it's so gorgeous so yeah this one is completely exclusive to my shop I think some of the things in here I'm gonna do as functional stickers I'm not really sure what yet but this is like all the deco so I'm really excited about that and then guys this one everyone's gonna need this one it's a no spend kit so I know it's kind of an oxymoron but one of like the most common like functional sticker requests I get are no spend fu like functional stickers so we're doing a full kit and then I'm also gonna have um, some of the deco and stuff in here be like little icons as well and I think the colors are just absolutely gorgeous um, so yeah those are coming out later in June but I went ahead and finished designing them so I could take some pictures of them and I'm like trying to keep them under wraps obviously now that the video is up they're not under wraps anymore but um yeah like for the rest of this week I'm trying to keep it under wraps um and then I'm trying to think of what else I was gonna tell you guys hey guys so it is now Tuesday I meant to update you guys one more time yesterday but life just got away from me I ended up getting a migraine and taking a nap which helped a lot um and then I woke up and worked on some designs and stuff for merch because I wanted to get my order in for like my samples um, so that I would get it in enough time to promote it. So didn't have a chance to update you guys, but I DNF'd Dead Men Walking at 57% because I was just really not enjoying it. I was getting over the fact that it was kind of about like zombie pirates, like that was fine, whatever, except it kept insisting the main male character was evil except like any of the characteristics that it they would talk about him being evil he didn't have like he was clearly not evil um and apparently he had been like some kind of like evil conqueror person back in the day but now he was trying to like atone for his sins um so I don't know it just kind of bugged me and then they kept also referring to people as like more evil than the devil and it was like so cheesy like the main character at one point was like oh we're gonna have to battle my like somebody who's even worse than the devil and then so the, somebody else was like well who is that and he's like my ex-wife and I was just like the cheese man this is not good <laughs> and like one of the main female characters was a complete afterthought like even the other characters would forget she existed and they kept introducing like new mythology and new different types of characters and they would never really explain what it was like as if we should just know which maybe since it wasn't her first book I don't know if her books are like interrelated or not if you know let me know in the comments but this was the first of a trilogy so even if they are within the same world you would think she would at least explain a little bit and it just kept alluding to this plot but they never actually got anywhere I swear it felt like they just like were sitting in a boat in the middle of the ocean and that's it and there was like one major event that happened except it wasn't even really that major and anyway it was just really really boring and while I had started or while I was reading that one I had started the high tide club 
which is this book by Mary Kay Andrews on audio and I was really really enjoying it so I decided since I was really really enjoying this one I was not liking Dead Men Walking at all I DNF Dead Men Walk I just finished this one a little bit ago and it was so good I loved it so much it was fluffy but with enough drama to keep it interesting and then it also had a little bit of a thriller vibe too come here come here and then it also had a little bit of a thriller vibe as well because there was this mystery and there was this old murder and it was just it was really good and it would jump kind of like back and forth between present day and uh the past which was in the 40s so it was just really really interesting and it was just so like quintessential southern the audiobook was so good and anytime i i actually read some of this like in the physical form um and like every time I was reading it in the physical form, I wanted to turn back on the audiobook. I actually sat there last night for maybe over an hour at least doing nothing but sitting in this chair and listening to the audiobook because I enjoyed it that much. And that never happens for me with audiobooks because I'm always like having to do something else while I'm listening. But I really enjoyed this one. And you guys can probably hear him, but Exo is in here just causing problems what do you need to go outside okay so i'm gonna take him outside you guys can come with me um i started starry eyes by jen bennett and i think i'm on page like 22 or 23 somewhere around there i'm not very far into it and i was running sprints in the book club group but i kind of got sidetracked um so Anyway, but anyway, I'm also wearing my Sloth Mode activated tank top. By the time this vlog goes live, it will already be in the shop because it comes out on Friday. Figured it would be a good time to release it because I'm releasing the self-care kit this Friday, so they kind of go together. I'm trying to think if there's anything else, but it is six o'clock today. I have pretty much, I have worked on some designs and I actually designed full boxes for three kits between last night and today as well as like got some of the merch kind of figured out and designed and listings done and all that good stuff um, while I've been listening to the High Tide Club today and I'm seriously so excited because I know I got at least two of her other books at the library sale and so I'm definitely going to be reading those for sure. Um, but yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I have no idea what Exo is doing. He ran to the other side of the yard. But I guess as long as he's occupied, we're good. So yeah, I will update you guys later. Hopefully with another book read because I'm trying really hard to finish my books early so that I can start on a couple of the other books that I really want to read. So yeah, talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday, it's 3 p.m. I am an awful vlogger this week, but yeah, I've been reading, so that's my excuse. Um, anyway, yesterday I finished all of my readathon books, which is crazy, because yesterday was Tuesday, but yeah. That's what I did. So I think I already told you guys I finished the High Tide Club. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, just in case I didn't say it yesterday, I definitely recommend. Um, after that, I read Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett, which is the group book for the readathon. It's about two characters, Lennon and Zori, and they used to be best friends, but now they're like mortal enemies, complete with like the whole like teenage drama of like having mortal enemies. Um, and they go on a group camping trip and they end up being stranded in the wilderness together and so they have to work together and all of that good stuff and of course you know secrets are revealed and all of that good stuff it wasn't exactly what I was expecting um but I still really enjoyed it and um it was a really quick read I gave it like three and a half stars mostly just because it's like really hard for a contemporary to get that like five stars out of me I don't really know why um but yeah and 
the older I get, the more I side with the parents in YA books. I did not at all side with the dad in this. He was a total dickhead and I hate him. Um, and I really loved Lennon as well. He was a wonderful character. Zori was kind of annoying. She was kind of immature and, um, I don't know. She just kind of got to me sometimes, but I also saw my, like, teenage self in her quite a bit, which might be why she got to me. Um, but anyway, yeah, it was really enjoyable. Then I read Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shawn and McGuire. This is the third book in the Wayward Children series, so I don't want to give away too much, but if you have not read these, you have to read them. They are absolutely wonderful, and they... They just make me so nostalgic for childhood. I don't even know like how to describe it, but I love it. There's so many like little life lessons like tied in. They're all really short. They're all less than 200 pages. And I think I heard there's going to be quite a few more. So I'm really excited. So yeah, those were the three books I read for the readathon that covers all five prompts. I was going to read Dead Men Walking by Sherilyn Kenyon, but I told you guys I DNF'd it. I just, I couldn't get through it. I do have two of her other books on my bookshelf, so I might give those a try, but honestly, since the thing that bothered me so much about that book was the writing, I don't know. I might read like the first chapter of one of them and then just see how I feel because I kind of, I don't know, I kind of disliked Dead Men Walking from the second chapter on. And I got to 57% of the way and I finally was like, I, I can't do it anymore. So yeah, I really have not gotten like any work done today at all. So, you know, there's that. Um, I'm waiting for some art that I had commissioned to come in so I can get some stuff done. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to happen today yet or not. I did run to the library because I had an appointment with my therapist this morning and she wanted me to read a book. But then, of course, since I was at the library, I had to go and look at their little, like, bookstore. And of course, I walked away with a couple of books. So, let me show you. The first one I grabbed, The Cuckoo's Calling, by Robert Galbraith, which is, you know, just J.K. Rowling. I mostly picked this up because my friend Becky picked it up in our thrift haul. And um, when I saw it, I was like, oh, well, I might as well pick it up as well. Apparently, whoever turned this in did not get the sticker all the way off, which is annoying. I wonder if Undo would get the rest of that off. I don't know. I might give it a try. I don't even really know what this is about. I know it's about, um, like a private investigator. Um, but that's about it. The cover is just gorgeous though. And I think there was like a character who committed suicide. Yeah. I think the case that he's going to investigate is the, the suicide because it's investigating a supermodel suicide. So that sounds really interesting. Um, so yeah, probably we'll be reading this fairly soon. I don't know. The next one I picked up, I had actually never heard of, but it's called Dark Prince by Christine Fian? Fian? I don't know how you would pronounce it. Um, this is about a race called the Carpathians, who apparently um, are like creatures that thrive at night. I don't really know anything else about them. And a telepathic hunter of serial killers is like gets mixed up in them somehow. Um, I looked it up on Goodreads. It had a four and I did see a lot of like five star reviews and then some one star reviews. And the only thing I saw from the one star reviews is that um, it seemed like it might be a little sexist. So we'll see. Oh. Somebody left there. So I think that's pretty much all that I have to update you guys on. I think I'm going to sit here and fill out my planner because it's pretty empty so far. I was trying to do better about filling it out as the week goes on and that kind of hasn't happened. So I'm going to go do that and I might try to find another book to read. I'm kind of like iffy on like what I want to read next. 
I'm still working on the second Outlander book and um yeah I don't know I might listen to it I'm not sure but anyway I'll talk to you guys later bye it is now 8 30 still in this chair or vlogging again in this chair I haven't been in this chair this whole time um I'm starting or I did start Fatal Throne by a bunch of different people it's um six different authors and they all like took one of the wives from of or of Henry VIII, one of his six wives, and they wrote um, their different viewpoints, which is really really interesting. So of course, because you guys probably know how obsessed I am with like the Tudor time period and like the Philippa Gregory books and all of that good stuff. Um, so of course, as soon as I heard about this, I had to pick it up. Apparently they used some of Philippa Gregory's books as like their um like books that they used for research because they have their bibliography in the back. Um they also though used the tutors as in the um TV show which is not historically accurate. Um, and so far, like, I'm on page 95, and it is just very surface level, which this is YA, so I mean, like, that would be a good reason why. But it is very surface level, and each, because it's all six wives in one volume, it really doesn't go into much detail at all for any of them. So, like, if you're looking for something, I would just go on and bite the bullet and read Philippa Gregory because they are really, really good. Um, and some stuff she changes and some st and a lot of stuff she stays like true to what really happened or what we think really happened. Hey guys, it is Thursday and I figured I would give you guys a change of scenery today because I feel like the past few days I've only vlogged while I was in my office. Um, I'm getting ready for the day and while I was in the shower Cody texted me the best words that anybody could ever text me and it was do you want to get Mexican food for lunch and obviously the answer is yes so I'm doing my hair I wasn't gonna do it before but I guess since I'm going out in public I want to I feel like with long hair it's easier just like blow dry it and go but whenever I have short hair like I want to make sure if I'm gonna wear it straight, that all of my ends are going the same direction and all that good stuff. Um, I've actually been up for a while this morning. I've been watching BookCon and Book Expo vlogs, and it really makes me wanna go next year because I've never been to New York, and it would be really, really cool to go to New York. Um, and one of my friends lives up there, so it'd be really cool to see her. And yeah, it would also be really awesome to meet a whole bunch of authors and kind of have an excuse to go. So I think I might go next year. It kind of just depends on how much we have in savings and all of that at that time. So we'll see. But if you are thinking about going next year, let me know down below because it would be really cool to know if I have friends going because I don't want to go by myself. For sure. So I'm also trying to talk Becky into going with me. And my friend that lives up there, it's not really her thing, but I'm trying to talk her into going too. <laughs> um, one thing though, it seems like everybody dresses up like a lot and I'm not a dress up type of person. Like I might wear a dress, but if I wear a dress, it's a casual dress. Like literally guys, I'm going to eat lunch, I guess, which is technically kind of a date with my husband in a creating a co t-shirt and gym shorts so clearly i don't dress up i have to like squat basically because my tripod is too low for me to stand and talk to you guys i guess i'm like i guess i should like actually like really squat and then i'm like exercising does that count as exercise for the day probably not also i found out this week because Becky is out of town, but I do not work out unless I have a friend that I'm working out with because I haven't worked out once since she left. Um, 
Well, I did yoga once. I guess that counts, but I need to get better about doing yoga every day or every other day or at least the majority of the week because I really like it. I just, sometimes Exo tries to crawl on top of me and stuff and you know, and then if I lock him out of the room I'm doing yoga in, he just sits at the door and cries every now and then. So, you know, not super fun. Can't really be mindful and relax if your dog is crying at the door, so. I am having so many technical difficulties today. So, my camera battery died, and then I was showing you guys my closet and my camera just shut off. So I think it wasn't recording. Yeah, if that's any indication how my day is gonna go, it's gonna be a long one. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys my closet real quick because I haven't showed you yet. If I have a before picture, I'll put it somewhere on the screen, but I'm not sure if, I know I put it on my story a few days ago, but I don't know if I saved it. So, yeah. But anyway, here's the office closet. Um, I don't even think I showed you guys this in the room tour of this room, but basically it has two doors. Up here is like craft supplies and whatnot, DVDs, things like that. Um, that is shop supplies, um, that is empty right now, but they will eventually be full. And then that's an extra silhouette that I don't really use because it's a portrait too. And basically to use a portrait too, you have to have the newest software and I don't like the newest software. So I just don't have a silhouette in my office, which is fine because we have the ones upstairs. Here's all of the lighting equipment, tripods. This basket is from Target. We were gonna put it in the living room, but I decided just to do one in the living room. So this is just an extra. I think we're mostly gonna use it if like we have a whole lot of orders that we need to take to the post office. Like if we do a sale or it's like Black Friday, which is basically a sale. In the meantime, I think I'm gonna put merch that we need to take pictures of in here. Right now it has just some like, random like floral stuff. I mostly use these for like photo props and stuff so I just need to figure out a place to like keep those all the time. This is a drawer set that we had at the apartment. I got it from Michaels like years ago and I just have a whole bunch of craft supplies in here. In this or this um like cube shelf is from the apartment as well. I got it from Target. These are the Target bins um, and it pretty much holds shop supplies. So obviously we have a whole bunch of paperwork here. I actually need to clean this out still. I just don't want to yet. Um, we have shop stuff in there. That's just some extra stuff I need to put away. That's my laptop. I just had this stand from Ikea. So I was like, eh, I'll just set it there, whatever. Those are shipping labels. Those are like extra post-its and stuff. And then in these bins, I just have a whole bunch of different stuff. I have like merch, um, grab bag type stuff, extra envelopes, that type of thing. And then right here are t-shirts that are going in the shop. Eventually they'll probably all make their way to my closet because I love all of them. I'm gonna wear that one for 4th of July for sure. Um, that one says, let the beat drop, and it's hilarious. By the time you see this video, that will be in the shop. This one is a shirt. I'm gonna release this design, but not on this um, shirt style, so I just need to figure out what to do with it. And then that's one of our shirts as well that will probably end up in my closet. It just hasn't yet. So yeah, that's pretty much it for our, for this closet. Um, it looks so much better. Like stuff was like falling on the floor every time I opened the closet. It was so bad. And then I really need to clean up my office because my desk keeps ending up being really messy every day. And I need to figure that out. I also need to organize stock, but I don't feel like it right now. And I'm trying to think if we did. I kind of organized this closet, but it really wasn't that bad to begin with um obviously that's just a linen closet and then i also organized this one okay 
Um, it just had like a bunch of random stuff like thrown in here. Right now it also has a bunch of books that I might unhaul. I'm not totally sure yet. I still need, I like basically did like a preliminary unhaul where I just like went through my bookshelf and was like, I don't know, might not want this one, might not want this one. Um, so I still need to like go through it and see like what I actually want to do with all of them. Um, come on, Come on, you don't want to live under the stairs. You're not a wizard. You're not Harry Potter. And then we also hung our mirror. So here's our weird little wall alcove. Um, the mirror was sitting, just sitting there. Now it's actually hung up. So yay. Do you need to go outside? You do. Okay. We're going to go outside. Oh God, it is so hot and so bright out here. So yeah, I'm having a hard time figuring out what I want to read next. And I've just kind of like been jumping from book to book. I started Fatal Throne. I don't know, it's just very surface level. Um, and then, yeah, so I put that down. And I will probably pick it up again just because I love the tutors. So I'll like probably read it. Um, and then I picked up Red Rising. And I only read a few pages of it. So I'm not like prepared to say whether I d dislike it or like it yet. Um, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. I picked up The Smoke Thieves, read literally a page. The page was good, but I was just kinda like, I don't know if I wanna like delve into this right now. Um, and so then I picked up the second Mistborn book and read a few pages <laughs> before I fell asleep last night. So, I am just trying to figure out what I wanna read next. I have no idea. I am pretty sure I don't wanna read another contemporary because I think I've read three in the last week. And there's so many books that like I want to read, but I just can't get into them right now. So I don't know, I might just need a reading break. So we'll see, I'll let you guys know and keep you posted. I am gonna go follow Exo because he ran around the corner and the water hose is stretched out. So I think the gate's open because Cody's out front, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go check on my dog and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, so I am back home. We went and ate Mexican food and then went to Target. And of course, I left Target with a book. So I got the Dirty Book Club. It's about some girl whose life is perfect and her boyfriend convinces her to move to California. So she gets there and I'm thinking that she meets some friends at a book club. And I don't know, I just thought it sounded cute. And apparently I can't leave Target without a book. So yeah, I got this one. I'm really excited for it. I think it's gonna be really cute. I don't think I'm gonna read it next just because I don't think it's quite what I'm looking for right now, but I couldn't say no because I have a problem. So yeah. Um, then I also came home and checked the mail. Apparently we haven't checked the mail in a couple of days because I had quite a bit of happy mail and the mail hasn't even run today. And I know I have something coming from Chrissy at Pretty on Paper Co. today. So I am excited for that. I also got this wine tumbler from Grumpy Bear Sticker Co. It is super cute. It has a pink Grumpy Bear on it and it's like matte black, which is just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really excited that this came because I don't even think I got a shipping notification for it. If I did, I think I must have like accidentally deleted it because I had no idea it was on its way. So I'm really excited about that. And then an order from Fox and Cactus that got lost in the mail finally showed up. And I'm so excited about it because I feel like I've been waiting forever for this. Um, in fact, I had contacted her and she was gonna send a replacement. So I need to email her because I'm not sure if this is the replacement or the first one. And if it is the first one, I don't want her to send a replacement, obviously, because I don't need it. But I got some dashboards. So first off, we have this one that says Harry Potter, and it's like a little cat, which is adorable, and it is foiled. So let me see if it'll focus. 
So yeah, I'm not sure. I think this might have been a limited edition item in her shop. And then she also had some that were like a promo. So we had this little fox, which is absolutely adorable. And then we have these little like dog and cat mermaids. I can't remember. I know she calls the cat permaids. Does she call the dogs germaids? Because... That's really cute. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is adorable. I love using her dashboards in um, my like traveler notebook setups. So I'm going to add those to my stash. And then, yes, okay, so this is the replacement order. So yeah, she added a note in here. Um, and then we have the little freebie. And then I got, I don't even remember what I got because it's been so long. So this is like a total surprise. So I got the little computer girls because I use those for designing and stuff. I want to say this girl's name is Daisy. She's the one with the like medium tone skin, but she has like white outfits. And Andrea from Scribble Prints Co., um, talked about how she gets Daisy because of the like neutral outfits. So I started getting Daisy as well because it was such a brilliant idea. I used to get whichever girl was the light skin tone and the brown hair and she had pink outfits. So especially like during fall time when I was using a lot of like oranges and browns and blacks and stuff, it was like she stuck out like a sore thumb. So yeah, I always get like the little neutral kind of girl now. Um, then I got some happy mail ones. I've been hoarding the ones that I have. I think I have a sheet with like maybe two left because I knew I didn't have any more. I got the like little emoji girls because I didn't have any emoji stickers. I used to have them and I think maybe I de-stashed them or something because I didn't use them very often. And um, since I use a lot of Fox and Cactus characters, I wanted to get her little emojis. And then we have this one with a whole bunch of dogs, which is adorable. So obviously I got this to mark stuff written like involving EXO. I got the bath girl because I take baths every day, as you guys know. I got achievement unlocked just because I thought it was super cute. And I can't remember what I was actually going to use these for, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. I got the Remembrals, so I could use them kind of as like a don't forget. And I felt like it would be like kind of like a little bit of Harry Potter in my planner layouts, even if I'm not actually using like outright Harry Potter stickers. I got the Slytherin Girls. I want to say the like Hogwarts and Harry Potter related stuff was limited edition, but I'm not 100% sure. So she might still have them in the shop. I got these little speech bubbles just because I thought it would be really cute because I do use a lot of characters in my planner layouts. And so I thought it would be kind of cute to have them kind of like saying something. And then I got the like little um, Hogwarts house bows in Slytherin. So yeah, I'm super excited about these and I'm so glad that I finally have them. I'm so sorry, Emma, that you had to send it again. I have no idea what happened. I am definitely going to be springing for uh, track shipping from now on because apparently the U.S. Postal Service loses everything that's untracked. So, yeah, I'm really sorry. But thank you for resending for sure because I definitely wanted the Harry Potter stuff. And then, of course, some of my staples because I ran out of my, like, laptop girls forever ago. And I have been, like, anxiously awaiting them. So, I'm super excited. I will probably be putting in another order soon because I seriously ordered this toward the beginning of April. And, um, yeah. <sighs> Post office. Totally not Fox and Cactus's fault, but I will say that um, I think she still does it where she has like an option for untracked shipping and tracked shipping because she does live in Australia. Spring for the tracked shipping just to like give you a paper trail if it does get lost because I felt awful emailing her knowing that like you, that's kind of the risk you take if you don't do track shipping but I was like please 
because of the Harry Potter stuff, please. So yeah, thanks again. Um, and then I'm also really excited about this. I actually don't have any wine in the fridge, so I guess now it will be a good excuse to go pick up some wine because I ran out. And XO is sitting here and being absolutely adorable. Just like keeping himself occupied by licking his paws and whatever. Okay, I had to sneeze and then go to the bathroom. So I figured you guys didn't need to see all that. Um, anyway. Chrissy just tagged me in a what I'm doing now post on Instagram stories. So I took a picture in front of my window and like I'm pouting because I'm waiting for my stickers from her. Um, hey guys, so I got the mail and I got the pretty on paper co order I was telling you guys about. So I figured I would show you guys and continue the happy mails. These are a little bit bigger than the ones I have been using, but I still love the fonts that she chose and I will adjust to them being a little bit bigger. So I have design. And this was the custom one I got. And so whenever you do the custom, um, you have to buy four of the sheets. And I told her she could have two of them if she wanted to, but she gave me all four. So that's awesome. We have edit. We have film. Package. Upload to do laundry, relax, and we have read and work. So these are all super cute and I love them. Um, some of them are like, I feel like the design is the only one that is kind of larger, but like I said, it actually will totally work for my weekly. I also use one on my sidebar and I usually use an icon next to it. Um, where's my planner? Trying to find it. Okay. So yeah, I usually do like this on my sidebar. So that design is a little bit smaller but I just cannot, like, I won't use the icon next time when I'm using this and it will totally work. I actually already did I do my stuff for next week already, which I'm using my foil kit from a while back. It is the sun child one. I think it's going to be so perfect for summer. And then for like the first official week of summer, I haven't planned that far in advance yet. I might lay it down later though. I'm going to use my Hello Summer kit. That's what it's called. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking having stuff kind of laid out for a while because um, then I can fill it in as I need to and I don't have to like use a whole bunch of sticky notes or anything, which I actually was thinking about earlier. I need to get, um, or I need to start using some sticky notes for stuff that's coming out on Fridays because I have like the themes, but I don't have like each individual sheet like written down anywhere. I just kind of come up with whatever I want to come up with and put it up there. So I was thinking I might use a sticky note for that because I don't want to change inserts. Every time I change in every time I change inserts, I end up going back to those inserts. So I don't want to change inserts, but I do think I want a more like detailed release. So it is now Tuesday of the next week. I kind of just stopped vlogging last week. Um, on Friday we put up new releases and then we started working on those orders. We already got all of them out the door which is amazing because it's only Tuesday. Um, I also binge watched Dynasty season one which is the remake of the show from the 80s I want to say and it is so good. I finished all 22 episodes in two days. Like barely left my computer, stayed up until like two or three both days. To finish and it was so good like the ending of season one i need season two right now i don't know if i'm gonna watch the original at least not right now um 
But yeah, then I started The Heiresses by Sarah Shepard because I kind of wanted the whole dynasty vibe. And this is about some girls that are heiresses to a jewelry company. And uh, this is from the same author that wrote Pretty Little Liars. I am about 100 pages in and I am really enjoying it so far. Definitely getting the dynasty vibes. Um, I'm kind of iffy on the characters. Like, I don't really like very many of them, but... You know, they still got like 200 pages to convince me. Um, I also finished the second Miss Form book and I really enjoyed it, but not as much as the, or like as I enjoyed the first one. Um, so yeah, I feel like it was a lot of setup for the third one. So I have really high hopes for the third one. I'm still working on Dragonfly and Amber, which is the second Outlander book. I have t 20 chapters left. Um, I'm kind of not enjoying it that much, but it's kind of a necessary evil because I want to finish the series or I want to like keep reading the series. Um, and so like obviously I have to finish the second book to like go to the third one. So I am working on that. Hopefully I'll finish it in the next couple of days. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. So now my battery light is flashing. So I guess I better end this vlog. Uh, comment down below. Let me know if you participated in the Relaxathon and what you read. Let me know if you plan on um, picking up any of the books that I talked about in this vlog. Let me know if you've watched Dynasty. Let me know what you think of the new kits that are coming out soon or the ones that just came out. Um, yeah, basically start a conversation down in the comments because I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I put up videos twice a week and they are usually planner or book related. So if you like either of those topics, you will like this channel. I hope you guys are having a great week and I will talk to you later. Bye!